In the mid-1930s, electrochemist Russell Ull of the Bell Telephone Labs facility in Holmdel, New Jersey, started investigating the use of silicon receivers as radio detectors. He found that the increase in silicon crystal purity helped improve their ability to detect low voltages. On February 23, 1940, he examined some small silicon wafers, which brought strange and amazing results. The amount of current flowing through a semiconductor layer sharply increased when a crystal was exposed to bright light. He also noticed that different crystal sections had opposing electric potentials while examining the cat's whisker crystals. Russell Orl and his colleague, Jack Scaff, found that the crack in the middle of the crystal wafer divides into areas with different types of impurities. Some impurities, phosphor for example, cause the excess of electrons in a specimen, while others, boron for example, cause a small deficit of the electrons, later dubbed as electron holes. The researchers call these areas n-types, negative, and p-types, positive, and the dividing barrier became known as a p-n junction. Bright light in the junction boosts electrons to move from N section to the P section, producing electric current. All discovered photoelectric current that led to the development of solar cells. William Shockley used the concept of P N junction to develop a transistor in 1948. And the P N junction became one of the most common types of receiver used in the electronic industry and as a whole as one of the main stepping stones for the semiconductor devices.